Guys, today we have a very important video because there's a lot of things going on on the charts right now which a lot of people are not paying attention to and this is going to mean that they could be burned. Guys, I'm going to talk you through what you need to know. I'm going to talk about altcoins. If you're holding any altcoins, you will want to watch this video. If you are interested in traditional markets, I will talk about that as well, of course. I'm going to give you an update on my bots and on the trading competition, as well as this chart, guys. So how much longer are we going to be in a bear market? This gives us a clue. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Guys, no video yesterday. I did have a, or I do have a cold, but um, so yeah, I didn't uh, make a video yesterday, but uh, not much has happened actually. We are still slightly above the orange box here. In fact, one major thing that has happened though is that we broke above this. We retested it on the downside and we are now, you know, going up here. But you can see that this is not super convincing. In fact, it's looked like on the uh, shorter time frames we may be forming a little bit of a double top here. Double top is, in general, a bearish pattern. Once we break this neckline, we tend to see some more downside. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The major thing that has happened is that for the first time in a good while, we have closed a candle above, a daily candle above the orange box. Now you can see that we've been trading above the orange box a couple of times. We did it right here. Did it right here. We did it right here as well. But this time we actually managed to close so far uh, two full candles above the uh, orange box. So that's a good sign for Bitcoin. But there's one major thing you need to pay attention to still. So if you look at this pattern, this is a major uh, triangle pattern on the daily time frame. This is something you probably already know about since I have been talking about this previously. But you can see that we are still, you know, not above the cluster of resistance. So we are above the uh, orange line here, the moving average, the 50 day moving average. So that's fine. The 100 day is above the red line and the red line itself is also, of course, massive resistance. So in other words, I want us to close above this purple line, which is currently at 21,230. So if you're looking to go irresponsibly long, well, then I would at least wait until we are above this cluster of resistance, guys. This is going to be hard to break through. And a lot of people I see right now are jumping into reckless longs right here. And uh, just because, you know, we are getting some bullish momentum, we're above 20k and so on. But on the technicals, you have to wait for this, guys. This is a major level. And when we are above that level, that, that's a completely different story. But from a risk to reward standpoint, I would wait for the price to be above these levels. Now, if that happens, the, that level is uh, right here, approximately. So, um, I mean, whoops. I do think that we are going to establish a new range of consolidation. So in other words, if we do manage to break above this, we might get a rejection here. At that point, we could see a consolidation like this. But if we do see a break above this level, then we could see a consolidation like this, bouncing off of some of these levels, maybe this red line and maybe the moving average right here. So this is something we can look out for in the immediate short term, guys. So be aware of that. Do not get wrecked. Now on the trading competition, this is the standings right now. Of course, if you want to join this trading competition, guys, make sure to use the link here in the description. You got up to $10,000 to, to join here. You do have this link right here. After you have signed up for OKX, click this link, deposit $50 to your trading account, and the five winners on the uh, profit and loss and the trading volume, so 10 winners in total, will get exclusive access to one of the best trading groups in crypto, where we gather the best traders. And of course, you're also going to get access to me if you want to ask me questions, talk about crypto, whatever it may be. Now, the uh, top five, as you can see right here, and on the volume, you can see right here. So the number one place on volume is this user, already consolidating the number one place here. The uh, second to fourth or fifth place is still up for grabs a little bit here. But this user is not only number one in volume, but also in profitability is at number six, which is very impressive. I hope that my videos may have helped you to, uh, yes, make a bit of profit and also, of course, significant volume. So with a $1 million position here, of course, that's over $100,000 in profit. Let's talk about altcoins. So on the Bitcoin dominance, we are still expecting this to continue to go up. You can see that it is actually going up on the weekly time frame, meaning Bitcoin is outperforming the 
uh, altcoins here. And also, if you look at the altcoin index, one very interesting thing is that whenever we have been at a very high level on the altcoin index, so like say uh, at the 98% uh, on the index here, or like 95, whenever we have been this high, and the higher we go, the faster usually we retrace that and start to go down here to uh, a very low level on the altcoin index, meaning Bitcoin is outperforming the altcoins. So if you look throughout history here, you can see that every time we've been at this very high level, we have very quickly gone down and the Bitcoin has started to outperform the altcoins. So we were up here as well. Altcoins had a massive rally here in 2018, early 2018, late 2017. But then once we went up to this level, we started to go down very quickly here. And every time we've been at these very high levels, we do tend to see a significant retracement here, meaning that Bitcoin is looking to outperform the altcoins for the next couple of months. So be aware of that, guys. This is what the charts are telling us. But once we get down here to these levels, that is when you should really start accumulating altcoins in order to position yourselves for the next altcoin season. Of course, I'm going to keep you updated on that. So make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. For traditional markets, we have seen a massive rally in traditional markets. From my orange line here, the make it or break it level, this was the level we had to hold. We have held this level. Not only that, we have had a significant rally. This is one of the most impressive rallies we've seen throughout a two day period ever in traditional markets which is pretty crazy. We haven't really seen a 7% increase in just uh, two days here. So that's pretty cool to see. You can see we have a red candle here. Next level of resistance for traditional markets up here at 3,850, support 3,716. So if traditional markets can continue to go up here, that is very good. Looking at the DXY, the dollar index, as we know, when the dollar index goes down, the markets tend to go up. And you can see that we have had a significant retracement here on the dollar index as well. So already 4% here from the top here. Now we are at significantly uh, like historical high levels on the dollar index still. So we could still see this continue to go up, especially if we continue to see interest rates being increased. So let's keep an eye on this, guys. For my bots, since I've been gone, these have continued to perform very well. This one is uh, approaching 13% right now. All of my bots are in profit. But since we are above my orange line here, the range I established, which was this range, uh, it seems like this has, you know, taken its course already. And if we establish a new range here, this is what I need to do. I need to adjust my bots, I need to close them, I need to adjust the range we're going to trade. Remember, we're trading sideways movement here, we're trying to profit from sideways movement instead of just waiting for the next bull run to happen. We're trying to trade this volatility and make money, which we've been doing successfully so far. So I will let you know the next levels of uh, trading here um, very soon. But just like I said, I want us to see what comes out of this situation before. Can we close above this level? If we can do that, I am immediately going to establish a new trading range and I will let you know as soon as I do that here on my channel. So again, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell so you get notified as soon as I put on new bots. So maybe they can be as profitable as we've been having here. As always, you're gonna see everything I do. If the next session of bots are not profitable, then you will know that, but if they are profitable, you will know that as well. You are going to be with me here from the beginning until the end. Let's see, guys. One thing I also want to point out is that the last time we had a significant gap between the real interest rates and the core inflation, it took quite a while for us to get this under control. So just like I've been saying, I do not think we're gonna you know, have a massive run towards our previous all-time high anytime soon. We're gonna have it eventually, and especially as we approach the halving, then I'm going to let you know about my massive halving trade. But uh, for now, I do think that we're gonna go sideways for a bit. We're gonna go sideways, we're gonna have massive runs, but we're gonna have it both to the upside and to the downside. Now, I don't think it's gonna take eight years like it did right here to get this under control. It's gonna be much uh, faster than that, but it could still be at least like six months to a year before we really start to see things get hot in crypto again. But just like I said, just because we're not seeing a new bull run doesn't mean that you cannot make money as I've been showing you here. We're trying to take advantage of this. So let's see what comes out of that. Guys, that's what I got for you. I hope that you appreciate me making this video for you, even though I am sick today. But uh, yeah, wanted to get something out there. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.